My name is Josh. Lately, you've seen my girlfriend, fiance, on on here. Her name is Anastasia. We were deciding to do a couple videos on coping techniques, and basically, I'm going to share a few of mine. First thing, if you ever feel immediate panic or anything like that, make sure you're, you're talking to the right people. If it's severe enough, you need to go to the right healthcare professionals. But it always helps to have coping techniques of your own. In my case, one of my personal favorites is quotes. I forget who said it, but basically there's a quote saying, it helps to remember that there have always been times like these. And it's true. It's really, really true. Not to belittle anyone's personal experience, but someone else has probably had it. Which should be comforting. If they got through it, then you can find a way, unique to your own. But your own way, nonetheless, that will get you through it. And quotes are a great way to kind of meditate on the spot. To focus your mind, focus your feelings, remind you of important things. You might want to lash out. And this might help you not... Simply put, it might help you remember what's important for the right reasons. And so you can do something pretty simple. Google quotes and put a word like resilience, patience by it. And basically, this should bring up many different sites that have basically quotes from God knows how many authors, but enough out there that you can actually meditate in a way, almost like praying, by going after quote after quote and Usually they lead into other quotes. It's a great way to do that. She mentioned aromatherapy with incense. If it's your deal, it's a great way to make your room smell nice and maybe meditate at the same time. And if you're into it, a little bit of meditation would be good too. Take five minutes. Make yourself sit down, lay down, bend over. Dare I say it, take a seat in the tub. And just kind of think, five minutes. Five minutes of focusing on something, whether it being emptying your mind or thinking peaceful thoughts, meditating on your purpose, what you find fulfilling. Sometimes it's a way of reminding yourself of what's good to keep in your heart. Sometimes it's just a way of calming yourself down. So be it quotes, aromatherapy, or a little bit of meditation, it's good to have a good tool toolbox full of ways to cope that can help you. Sometimes you just need to calm down your soul, get your emotions in check, and you feel so much better. Of course, as usual, if you need to, go to the right healthcare professionals. Never wait for the oh shit moment where you should have done something sooner. I waited too long before I got diagnosed with schizophrenia, but nonetheless, when I had a problem, I stopped and I went and got the right help and I got diagnosed with schizophrenia. And that was a pretty big deal. And I needed to. God knows what would happen if I tried to put it off somehow. But long story short, I'm very happy I didn't. So if you need to, go to appropriate healthcare professionals. But I also urge you to develop toolbox full of coping mechanisms that will help you manage your life, manage how you feel, hopefully just feel better in general. Anyhow, my name is Josh for those who maybe just joined in, but thank you for watching and hopefully these videos will help some of you. We just hope to share a little bit of our own experience, so hopefully you can learn from our mistakes, not your own. Thank you.